Hello and welcome to the Tank Club. I'm TC Lee and today we're going to be looking at 10 crafted gear sets you can use to get yourself started off with tanking in the Elder Scrolls Online. So in no particular order, we've got the first gear set, which is the Armor of the Seducer. Now this is a really, really, really good gear set for new tanks. The reason for this is because it's a great sustain set. One of the fundamental issues for new players and new tanks is sustain. And so this gear set is going to provide you with a lot of sustain. It's going to help you to get through those fights. Later on in the game, you can replace this with the Worm Cult set. So what this is, this is like a selfish version of the Worm Cult set. So as you progress through the game, you remove your armor of the Seducer and you replace it with Worm Cult. Because it's going to be, instead of being a set that's just for you, we convert over to a set that is for you and your group as well. The next gear set we've got is the Druid's Braid set. Now this is a good set for new players because you can craft 12 pieces and you've got yourself lots and lots of stat benefits which is always great for tanking because we need all three stats and we need to be able to benefit from those resources. The reason why this is so good is because as you farm gear you can replace it one piece at a time. So if you're farming let's say, let's say you are getting the worm cult gear set and you get one piece you can equip that one piece. When you get the second piece you can equip that and you can remove a piece of Druid's Braid and as you progress and you get those gear pieces, you can just slowly replace piece by piece. And the fact that this has got a one piece bonus all the way to 12 means you're always going to get some kind of benefit from wearing some of it. So it's just a fantastic set to use in that situation as you're progressing and farming that gear. You can wear this gear set, it's going to give you those nice stats. And as you farm piece by piece, you can start replacing it. The next gear set is Fortified Brass. This is a really good gear set for people with low champion points. And the reason for that is when you've got like a really high amount of champion points, armor isn't as vital. So this fortified brass set is going to be really, really useful because having a lot of resistances or armor, as it's also known, is going to be really useful when you're not able to get all those little champion point passives and perks, all those slottable CPs. When you've got a lot of slottable champion points, you can actually reduce the amount of damage you're taking you can easily obtain your resistances via your champion points. You can obtain resistances in a number of different ways, but to start off with, with that low champion points, you might not have things farmed, you might not have certain skill lines leveled up, so you don't have access to everything that you need to be able to reach those armor values. So having really high resistances at low champion point level is going to be really, really nice and helpful. The next gear set we've got is Heartland Conqueror. And the reason why this one's so good is it increases your weapon trait by 100%. So it's good for a number of different things. So it's good for leveling up. So if you go with training on your weapon, it's going to increase by 100% on that training trait. If you're actually tanking, you can use Infused with a crushing enchant. And that's going to also give some benefits to the amount of group damage that you can provide. So early on in the game, you're not going to have access to Crimson Oath Rive. You're not going to have access to Alkosh or tremor scale and at the moment we're in a meta where we have a lot of people wearing medium armor so they're not quite at the pen cap of 18,200 now by wearing heartland conqueror you can start to chip away and add a little bit more so that people can get towards that pen cap by using an infused weapon that gets increased by 100 percent and then using a crushing enchant so it's a little bit of a damage boost if you want to go down that route as a newer player, you want to start providing those group benefits, the Heartlands Conqueror set is going to help you do that. Next, we've got Hispark. Now, this is more of a benefit to you as a player. So, as a new tank, obviously, it's going to be difficult. Like I said before, low amount of champion points. There's certain skill lines that you don't have leveled out. There's going to be a lot of stuff that you don't have access to early on in the game. With Hispark, you're going to provide yourself with a bit of stats, a bit of resistances. And then when you're blocking, you're going to get major evasion. So damage reduction from AOE attacks, area of effect. And that's going to be helpful in reducing the incoming damage. Now, this is going to be useful as you try to progress. So let's say you're going for one of the meta top, top tank sets, the Yolnikrin gear set. You're going to have to go and do Sunspire trial to get that. And in the Sunspire trial, major evasion is very good because you've got dragons that do a dragon breath attack which is an area of an effect. So this is going to reduce it by 20%. So it's going to help you in that content. There's some dungeons now with some really big AOE attacks in some of the newer dungeons where, again, there's some vital gear. 
So this is going to help you get through some of the dungeons and trials that you need to get through to get that meta gear. Organum Scales. This isn't really one of the, the better ones, but it's one of the few that's actually going to help you in terms of self-healing. So you might have a situation where you struggle to kind of keep yourself alive. If you are struggling to keep yourself alive, you need to look at what skills you're using. You need to have potentially a shielding skill if you've got one. So on the Dragon Knight, you've got Igneous Shield. If you've got a Healing Over Time skill, you should be using that. If you've got a Burst Heal, you should be using that. So Green Dragon Blood, Cinder Storm, Igneous Shield, those sort of things you should be using. If you're still having problems, using Organum Scales is going to help. So when you're under 60% health, you're going to get health recovery. So this means every two seconds, you're going to get an increase of health recovery by 800. Your health recovery as a base value is probably around a thousand or more anyway. So what this means is like every two seconds you're going to get a 2k heal. You're also going to get increased resistances. So you're definitely going to be pushing the resistance cap as well, which means your incoming damage is going to be lower, which is going to be nice and helpful if you're really, really new. And you again, low amount of champion points, low access to skill lines and other gear. This is going to be helpful to just kind of tick you through that extra healing, especially if you're doing dungeons and stuff and you don't have a healer. The next gear set is Serpent's Disdain. This one again, another nice set. So we've got some max stats on the two, three and four pieces. On the five piece, the reason why this is useful is when we increase the duration of status effects, it's going to be like, that's going to be increased by 16 seconds. Now, the reason why I think this is good is because if you want to make dungeons easier, for crowd control in ad pools, then this is going to be a good crafted set to use. And the reason for this is, if you apply the chilled effect to enemies, you can then immobilize them with elemental blockade and a frost staff. By having the chilled effect, which is a status effect, applied to enemies, you can run into an ad pool and use the skill Pulsar from the destruction staff skill line. That's going to apply the chilled effect. The Serpent's Disdain set is then going to increase the duration by 16 seconds. You then put down Elemental Blockade and that is going to immobilize the enemies in place. So you're going to get a lot of perks and a lot of benefits. So once you can do Vatashran Hollows, you can get yourself the Void Bash set. That's going to pull everything in and then you can use your skills to root enemies in place. So you wouldn't need to worry too much about the extended duration. The next gear set we've got is Tarva's Favor. Now this is a way of generating ultimate faster. And sometimes this can be useful on different classes. So let's say you're on a Necro Tank Generating your ultimate faster is going to be beneficial because you might need to use a Resul. You might need to use the Colossus ultimate to give, give you group more damage. If you want a Dragon Knight, you might need to use Magma Shell. You might want to do more Warhorns to provide more group damage. So there's lots of different benefits. On a Dragon Knight as well, every time you use your ultimate, you get resources back. When you dodge roll, you also avoid damage for a little time window. There's like a little couple of seconds there where you evade damage and you don't take any damage. So roll dodging is a good habit to get into anyway, but also the fact that when you dodge roll, you're going to get a ton of ultimate. So it's worth using this set um, for, for that kind of situation if you're able to, to just generate that ultimate faster. Later on in the game, there are a number of different gear sets you can replace this with. So as you're progressing through the game, you can get yourself some Drake's Rush, which is going to be a better way to generate ultimate or things like Arcasis as well another dungeon gear set that you can get which is going to provide ultimate without the cost of the roll dodging now if you think about it this way if you do have the free dodge roll champion point passive you can do a dodge roll once every 30 seconds and you're going to get some ultimate so you can use this to your advantage in certain ways so this is an option for a crafted gear set the next gear set is probably one of the best ones in terms of providing a group DPS increase. We've got Torug's Pact. This is going to give you armor, max health and armor. So some nice tank benefits. Then it decreases the weapon enchantment cooldown by 33% and increases the damage weapon enchant potency by 45%. So when you're using an infused crusher on your ice staff and you're wearing Torug's Pact, it's going to buff it up quite a lot. So this is really, really nice because it's going to give you that increased potency, so you're going to be able to put your infused crusher, and it's going to be buffed up. This is a good replacement for things like Alkosh, Crimson Oath, and Tremor Scale, when you don't have those yet. You could use this instead. So if you're just new and you're starting out, and you're in a little group, and you want to provide a DPS increase, Torx Pact is going to be extremely useful for doing so. 
Finally, we've got the White Strakes Retribution. And this is a safety gear set, a self-survival gear set once again. So we've got max health, armor, health recovery. When you take damage while you're under 30% health, you gain a damage shield that absorbs uh, damage for 6 seconds. And it can occur once every 15 seconds. So you shouldn't be dropping below 30% health that often. So if you are, then there's other fundamental issues. But it's more of a safety gear set. Maybe you're brand new to doing dungeons. You want a little bit of safety in there because you're a bit nervous about trying out... Um, doing a certain dungeon, maybe you don't know the mechanics, you want to learn the mechanics. This is going to give you a little bit of a safety net for when you drop to low health. So it's going to give you that big damage shield. You're going to be able to proc that every 15 seconds and it's going to take a bit of pressure off you so you can focus on learning the mechanics, focus on your tanking and not worry as much about your survival. You do still need to worry about survival. You will need to try and cast some heals or some shields and some heal over time if you can. You need to be making sure you're blocking and stuff, but if there are mistakes being made, there is a chance that this is going to help you to survive in those rough moments. So that is my top craftable gear sets for people who want to get started out with tanking in the Elder Scrolls Online. If you've got any other suggestions, let me know in the comments below. If you are new to tanking, make sure you check out the Tank Club Discord. You can find the link in the description below. That's going to get you access to thousands and thousands of tanks. We've got Loads of channels, loads of different areas for people of different skill levels, so you can get help, advice, information. And we've got the website, thetankclub.com, which is full of information for tanks as well. Thank you very much for watching this video. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now.